everyone, it's Bev here. Welcome to a brand new video on the Bev Show YouTube channel. Get up and about, get excited, because I've got a ripper of a video for you today. In this video, I'm going to be ranking the 2021 AFL stadiums. It's fair to say I've been to a fair few AFL stadiums in my time of living. I've been to the MCG Marvel Stadium, Metricon Stadium, SCG, Adelaide Oval, Optus Stadium very, very recently, and of course the two stadiums down here in Tassie, Utah Stadium and Bloodstone Arena. So I've been to a fair share of AFL stadiums. I haven't been to all stadiums, of course, but I've been to enough to do this video properly, I think. So I'm going to be ranking the 2021 AFL stadiums using Tier Maker. I'm sure you're all familiar with how Tier Maker works. So let's not muck around any further. Let's get straight to Tier, Ma tier Maker and rank the 2021 AFL stadiums. Let's go! So here is the Tier Maker. Uh, as you can see, I've got five categories. Uh, I've spiced it up a little bit. The top category is Superb, followed by Great, Good, Okay, and Poor. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'll be putting many, if not any, AFL venues in the poor category. I could prove to be wrong though. But anyway, let's start with an easy one. Adelaide Oval. Well, we all know where this venue is going. It goes in the superb category. It's one of the best stadiums in the AFL for sure. I've been to the Adelaide Oval, but not for an AFL game. I went there in 2018 for a big bash final between my beloved Hobart Hurricanes and the Adelaide Strikers. Unfortunately, the Canes couldn't get the job done, but um, the atmosphere inside the stadium was superb. I love the design inside and out. And uh, I love that the ground has still got the old scoreboard and the hill behind the goals. It's a fantastic stadium, the Adelaide Oval. Like I said, it's one of the best in the AFL, no doubt about it. And I hope to get to an AFL game at the venue sometime soon. Next one is my home ground, Blundstone Arena. Going to be a bit biased here. I love going to Blundstone Arena. I think it's a great venue. Um, some people might disagree, but I think it's a great venue. I love going there every time I go there to watch the footy or, or even the cricket. It's uh, on a beach. I love the hill. I love when it's packed. And um, they've just recently added a new grandstand on the western side called the Ricky Ponding Stand, an amazing grandstand. And then, of course, they've got the, the stadium's got the... Um, the southern stand behind the goals on the southern side. It's a maybe a bit of an underrated venue, I reckon. I, I like it. It's uh, my home ground, and I I love it. I love going there. Um, all right, moving on to Kazali Stadium in Cairns. Yeah, it's an okay stadium. I mean, there's nothing really good about it. it I mean, I've never been there. It doesn't have a lot of grandstands. It's very open. It... Yeah, it isn't. It isn't in the, the first three categories, but it isn't the worst. So, Kazali Stadium goes in the OK category. The Gabba. Um, never been to the Gabba, but looking at it on TV, it's a good stadium, I think. I don't like... This is just a small thing, but I don't like how the interchange side is on the far wing, and I don't like that electronic... That large electronic sponsor board they've got on the far side, top of the interchange. But it's a good stadium from afar. I think it could be an even better stadium once the uh, the redevelopment happens for the Olympics next decade. Moving on to Giant Stadium. Originally known as Skoda Stadium, I think. It's also been known as Spotless Stadium. It's now Giants Stadium. I was actually supposed to go there last year, but uh, I couldn't due to uh, COVID. That was when COVID was hitting. I tell you what, the atmosphere coming from the ground in the six to, in the, from the ground during the 2016 prelim against the Dogs and the Giants was a great atmosphere. But from afar, it doesn't look like 
the greatest stadium on earth. It's probably only in the okay category. I don't like, I just don't like the design. Like the the lights are a bit, bit weird. The scoreboard is behind the goals. It's a bit of a funny shape, to be honest. Yeah, it's not not a good stadium, I don't think, but it's not the worst. I think it's better than Kazali Stadium, but it only makes the OK category for me. GMHBA, never been to the ground, but judging from afar, it's... I'm going to go OK. In fact, actually, I'm going to I'm gonna upgrade it to good because I think the redevelopment, and I think they're going to redevelopment it redevelop the ground even more very soon so the redevelopment has made the ground i think a bit better but uh, i want to go there one day i'm hoping to go there for a cats and dogs game let's hope that can happen sometime soon of course the dogs don't have a great record at the ground at all last win was 2003 i believe at the venue but uh, it's a good venue from afar obviously haven't been there uh canberra is it still called marnica Oval? Well, i think it's called something else actually might be called Canberra, Canberra Oval or something. I don't know, but um, it's an okay venue. Not not a lot to like about it, but at the same time, not the worst. I like how they've kept the old scoreboard like the Adelaide Oval, but from afar, yeah, it doesn't look like a great stadium. Just goes in the okay category for me. Uh, the Ballarat Stadium, the one that the Western Bulldogs play at, Mars Stadium. An okay venue. Again, one of those ones that, you know, it's not spectacular, but it's not the worst. Marvel Stadium. Now, I'm probably going to create a few headlines here, and I'm probably going to say something that is probably an unpopular opinion, but this is just my opinion. I think Marvel Stadium goes in the great category. I love visiting Marvel Stadium. I love... The, when the roof is closed, I love the atmosphere that the arena can create. I was there for a Dogs and Carlton game earlier in the year. There wasn't many people there, but I thought the atmosphere was pretty electric. I think it's an underrated venue. I know some people don't like it at all. Might just be a bit of a biased opinion because the Western Bulldogs play their games there, but I, I like Marvel Stadium. Obviously, the service is a bit of a bit controversial. But I like Marvel Stadium. I think it goes in the great category. The MCG, well, easy. It goes number one in the superb category. It's the home of footy. Lots of history, lots of tradition at the ground. It's been a bit of a shame that the ground couldn't host the AFL Grand Final the last couple of years, but hopefully we'll be back there next year. 100,000 capacity stadium. It's in a, a great spot in Melbourne, being Olympic Park, surrounded by the likes of Amy Park and Collingwood's headquarters and, and Rod Laver Arena, the, the home of the Australian Open, High Sense Arena, Punt Road, of course, next door, basically. It's the number one stadium in the AFL for me. Uh, I don't think any stadium is better than the Melbourne Cricket Ground. So much history. I love when I visit the MCG. I love the walk to the ground too. It's just so, so special. Metricon Stadium. I've been to Metricon Stadium. Not a bad ground at all. I like the design. I went there for a Brisbane Gold Coast game. It was, yeah, it was good. I've umpired at the ground as well, actually. Went and umpired a, a 16s game, a 16s championship uh, game when I was a bit younger. Yeah, it goes in the good category for me. I'm not sure whether it's better than GMHBA or not, but because I haven't been to GMH, GMHBA, it goes ahead of um, of Canidia Park for me. Okay, Optus Stadium, the ground that I most recently visited. Of course, I went there to watch the 2021 AFL Grand Final. Unfortunately, the Dogs couldn't get the job done against the Ds, who broke a 57-year premiership drought, as we all know. Look, I don't think it's better than the MCG. In fact, when I walked into the ground and I was there for about 15 minutes, I thought, you know what? This ground could be better than the MCG. But after thinking about it a bit more, yeah, the design is fantastic, inside and out. I love the lights set up. The atmosphere is simply electric inside the ground, but I still don't think it's better than the Melbourne Cricket Ground. But it's clearly second best, and it's clearly better than any other stadium in the AFL. So Optus Stadium goes in second best in the superb category for me. I've been to the SCG, and I loved my visit there. I'm probably going to put it in the great category. Probably going to put it... I'll put it ahead of Marvel Stadium. 
good ground, plenty of history there. Um, yeah, I, I like the, um, I like the ground, so it goes in the great category for me. TIO Stadium, TIO Stadium hosted the dream, the dream time last year, I think it was, and I, I, I liked it. I think I'm going to put it in the good, the good category, or maybe the okay. I mean, it's not the best stadium, but it's in a nice part of Australia, being Darwin. I'm not sure whether to put it in the good category or the okay category. You know what? I'm going to put it in the okay category. TIO Traeger Park, uh, again, probably goes in the okay category. I love the backdrop of TIO Traeger Park. And the final one, my second home ground, Utah Stadium in Launceston. Good ground. Love visiting York Park, as, as, as it's traditionally known as. Probably goes in the good category, in all fairness. So, there you go. That's... That's me ranking the 2021 AFL stadiums. I'm just trying to look to see if I like it. MCG is clearly the best. Optus clearly second best. And Adelaide Oval clearly third best. Then followed by the SCG Marble Stadium Blundstone Arena in the great category. In the good category, the Gabba, Metricon, GMHBA and Utah Stadium. And then I've got TIO... TIO Stadium in the OK category as well as TIO Traeger Park, Giants Stadium, Canberra Mars Stadium, and Kazali Stadium. And no, no stadium has made the poor category. So there you go. That's me ranking the 2021 AFL stadiums. Let me know in the comments if you agree or do you disagree. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please press that subscribe button. Would really appreciate uh, all the support. And until the next video, take care. Look after yourself. Go to the doggies. Catch you later.